Hey Star Wars fans, how's it going? It's John and thank you for, for tuning in. Uh, I wanted to talk about Disney's recent release on Disney Plus. It's what they, they're labeling it as Star Wars vintage line of videos and movies. Uh, and I want to kind of go over each one. Uh, they released this on April 2nd, at least here in North America. I'm sure they're going to release it around other parts of the world, if not already, uh, very soon. Uh, so what these are, in case you guys are unaware, is includes two Ewok movies, live action Ewok movies, that previously were pretty hard to find. They were released on DVD in the early 2000s, uh, but pretty limited run for that. Uh, rele uh, they released the Ewok cartoon series that came out in the mid 80s. Uh, also released the 2003 2D Clone Wars cartoon that was a part of Cartoon Network and there's 25 episodes in total. It runs about two hours long. They're very small uh, segments, really cool animation. And uh, they also released the nine minute cartoon from Star Wars Holiday Special. And the Star Wars, Star Wars Holiday Special is infamous because it is really bad. It features musical guests, uh, act, famous actors at the time. Uh, the story is based on Chewbacca and his family. Uh, I think it's like Life Day, whatever, it was weird. Uh, but the one segment that was really popular and, and still among Star Wars fans today was the nine minute cartoon within the Star Wars Holiday Special and it first introduced Boba Fett. Now keep in mind, Star Wars Holiday Special came out in 1978, this predates and Patrick's back two years, couple years. So this is the first time we actually we saw Boba Fett and in one of the scenes, Boba Fett has a weapon that he uses. And if you watch Mandalorian, you'll notice the Mandalorian also has a similar rifle, uh, which I think is a, is a nod to, to this particular uh, cartoon. So I don't think Disney will ever release the full uh, holiday special in its entirety because it's so bad. You can get bootlegs. I have a DVD bootleg of it, of course. I have a VHS bootleg of it too, but um, I'm, I'm sure they're out there. You can find bootlegs of it. And But as far as an official release, it's going to be very hard. I think this is probably the best we're going to get from Disney. They also released uh, two Ewok movies that I mentioned before. First one is Caravan of Courage. It came out in 1984. Uh, second one came out a year later, 85. Uh, it's called The Battle of Endor. These in North America were on ABC and for TV in other parts of the world, including Europe. They actually were released in theater, which I'm totally jealous of. Uh, they were released eventually on VHS, even uh, Laserdisc, remember those big Laserdiscs? And in early 2000s, they had a DVD release, but a uh, very limited run on that as well. So it's cool that they, these are actually available now. Uh, Courage is a Star Wars fan. I encourage if you haven't seen these, check them out. Warwick Davis repraises his role from Wicket. Uh, the first one, Caravan of Courage, is better of the two, in my opinion. Uh, Ewoks don't really talk in that one on Battle of Endor. Uh, they all of a sudden start talking. Uh, and the first one features a young kid, his name's Mace. Uh, and it's not the first time that we would see a Star Wars character named Mace. Obviously Mace Windu later on in the prequel series. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or not. Uh, but it is worth seeing the uh, Industrial Light and Magic did the special effects. It was like the one of the last projects they did that was stop motion at the time. Uh, so the special effects kind of look a little cheesy, a little dated, but they're cool. It's 80s for sure. Uh, and it's just a really, I think they're fun movies, honestly, and definitely, in my opinion, better than Attack of the Clones. <laughs> um, so now that they're on Disney Plus and you have Disney Plus, if you have it, definitely check them out. The 2003 Star Wars Clone series is also really interesting because these were also released in two like volume sets on DVD years ago. Uh, and since they stopped production of that, uh, there are 25 mini cartoon segments that were on Cartoon Network. Uh, and these, this predates the Clone Wars 3D cartoon that's become very, very popular. I had to dive into it, watch this again. The animation is done by the same uh, artist who did Samurai Jack and Dexter's Laboratory and those kind of cartoons for Cartoon Network. So pretty famous artists, love the art style of these characters. It's a lot of the voice actors, the, the guy who voiced Obi-Wan Kenobi, for example, later on went to Clone Wars. The voice of Anakin is different, however, in this cartoon. The action, these, these, because they're so short in segments, the action is action packed. They definitely put a lot into it. So, definitely, uh, these are none of what I'm talking about here is considered canon as far as uh, what, what Disney would consider that. They call them legends. So, they used to be part of the expanded universe. Now, they, they returned it in legends. So, none of it's canon, unfortunately. The Clone Wars cartoon, of course, the later on would be canon. Uh, but this, this is not. Um, so, cool that that's also available. The last thing I want to talk about is the Ewoks cartoon. This came out in the mid 80s. Uh, it was also for TV. There was a couple seasons for this. And uh, they talk, the Ewoks talk, the animation's kind of fun. Definitely geared for younger kids. Now they are missing the Droid series, which I th that was only available for one season. Uh, and what's notorious for these 
particular series or kind of released simultaneously at the same time, uh, Kenner at the time did a toy line of these, and I think it came out in 85, uh, and these figures today are worth a lot of money. Like if you get a Boba Fett with, uh, it's the same figure, the, the vintage Boba Fett, but on a, a droid's card back, it's worth a ton of money. C-3PO looks different, uh, R2-D2 looks different. They did a line of figures, and they did Ewoks as well. And you can find these figures today because it's kind of the tail end of the what we consider the vintage line by Kenner at the time. These figures are worth a lot of money, right? They had an A-wing fighter that was released that was branded droids, but uh, because it does a, an appearance in the series, and it's basically an A-wing, but the thing is super rare now and super valuable, uh, and it's super cool. So Disney had has, an, has announced that later on this year. They do plan on uh, releasing droids. I'm not quite sure why they didn't release droids at the same time. I think they should have. I think between the two cartoons, droids has uh, less episodes, but uh, it, you know Anthony Daniels replaces his role for C-3PO in it. Um, it's definitely nostalgic for me watching these because I grew up watching these in, on, on TV. I, I think they were on NBC. I'm, I'm not quite 100% sure on that, but I do remember watching them uh, on TV back in the mid-80s. Uh, and it's cool that you can, you can go back and watch them now through Disney+. Plus. So I'm excited for when, when Joy's comes out. Anyway, guys, uh, kind of curious on what your guys' thoughts of these new Star Wars programming on Disney+. Plus is. Um, once they release Joy's, it's going to be pretty much anything Star Wars you can think of right now on Disney+. Plus. Um, what makes me a little bit nervous is Disney+, Plus and other streaming services, they can take it away anytime, right? I don't foresee them doing that with Star Wars. I don't see that them doing that with Marvel, necessarily although they have taken away some X-Men movies and things like that, but they should come back. But that's just a risky run because we don't own it technically. You're, you're paying for the service to stream it. So I own the DVDs and uh, because if God forbid these will eventually, Disney Plus goes away, I also always have it. But for now, take advantage of it. Watch them if you can. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing as always. And may the force be with you. Take care.